Hi, in today's video we're continuing on from looking at the wall dialog box and are now going to look at the wall framing tools within the latest version of Vertex BD Wood. We're going to take a look at the wall framing controls, how to edit the framing rules when inserting walls and more. When you are in the insert wall library, you can access the framing tools by selecting the framing layer and right clicking and then selecting framing tools. Here you can see that my selected wall has been set up to use the framing tool called EX38x89LB from the wall framing library. We have a number of different framing tools available and we also have a few different libraries too, depending on the version of Vertex you are using and the wall type that you are looking at, the form may look slightly different. Our metric versions are different to our imperial versions as well as our wood versus steel framing versions. In this video, we are looking at the metric wood version. I'm using the metric wood version of Vertex BD Pro, which is set up to use timber standards for use here in the UK. Listed here, I have the name of the framing tool currently in use. As you can see, it's the same name as is listed in the drop down here. We have a panel label for prefix here so that when we start generating wall panels, they will all start with a label prefix specified here. In this case, it's using the GE prefix with the G specifying the ground floor we are working on. Vertex will automatically change the panel prefix to match the floor you are on. So when we move to work on the first floor, the GE becomes one E and so on for every floor within our project. When generating panels, there is an option to override this and put in whatever prefix you would like, but you can also customize that here should you wish. Framing detail defines this as being an exterior bearing wall detail set. This can be changed by the drop down here, and you have a variety of options such as exterior non load bearing, interior load bearing, interior non load bearing, etc. Below that, you have options for both exterior and interior corner types, and also load bearing and non load bearing backers, all of which can be customized as required using the select buttons to select from and change to a variety of options for each. To select a detail here, simply left click on a diamond of the required detail. At the bottom, we have options for stud spacing. Here you have the ability to change the stud spacing itself, which can be done via this drop down. You can also choose the starting orientation of your stud by selecting any of the options here and also if the center stud is a single or double. You can also select on or off the under trusses option should that be applicable to your design. Our next tab within the wall framing tool is for customizations regarding frame plates and blockings. Firstly, there is customization options for your frame plates. Utilizing the select button here, you can choose between a variety of top plate details and select the required again by choosing the diamond of the required detail. There are options below for changing your top plate dimensions, head binder dimensions, beam along the top plate dimensions, and the same for bottom just below. Below our frame plate customization options, are options for customizing the frame blockings. Here you can amend the dimensions, height and type of the blockings for your framing as required for your project. Our next tab within the wall framing tool pertains to customization for frame openings. Within here we can customize our headers and openings as required for our project we are working on. We have customization options as shown for header 1, 2 and 3. Using the select button, we can again change the header detail as required for each by selecting the diamond on the detail we would like to use. We can also customize the header dimensions, stud dimensions and quantities here too. Our last tab within the wall framing tool is our insulation tab. Within here, we can select the insulation we would like to utilize within our wall framing. Choosing the select option here will open the insulation library window whereby you can select from a variety of different insulation materials such as mineral walls, foam, king span and more. As well as being able to select the framing insulation, you also have your insulation profile to web option here, which can be toggled 
off and on as required via the no and yes selection as shown. With our framing tool set up as required for our walls, we can then select OK to confirm we are happy with our frame tool customizations and then can begin modeling the walls for our project. Each wall we model will have our framing tool customizations applied until we change from using them. To change from using the current framing tool, we can either customize the framing tool again as how we did to begin with, or post applying a wall, we can select the required walls to be changed, right click and select properties and customize the framing tool from within here or those specific walls. Thanks for joining us for this video today. Stay tuned for our next video in our latest wood tutorial series where we will look at implementing our wall framing and take a look at tracing and modeling the walls for our project.